Intel unveiling its new AI chip set to compete against NVIDIA and AMD. Shares of the chip maker higher today, but falling 13% so far this month. Joining us now, More Insights and Strategy CEO Patrick Moorhead. Patrick, I had to start right here with you. There's a lot of bad news priced into Intel right now. Is the market fully appreciating the fact that it has a chip that's coming to market that, at least based on what NVIDIA currently has in the marketplace, sounds like it's highly competitive? Yeah, so overall, I don't think Intel is getting as much credit as they deserve and primarily of what their foundry business will be bringing. Now, what they announced today, which was a chip called Gaudi 3, does for certain workloads outperform NVIDIA's uh, current product line. It will take certain percentage, probably single digit market share in this, but I don't think that this is going to be a sea change uh, out of the gate. It gets much more interesting for Intel when they bring an AI GPU to market in 2025. And then what they can do is leverage GPU, accelerator, and CPUs that do AI processing across the board in the data center. That's when it gets really interesting. Okay. How about the software and inferencing piece of this? We know NVIDIA has such a formidable lead on everybody where this is concerned. It continues to drive more and more revenue and more and more stickiness in terms of its customer base for that company. But Intel did say that with the new Gaudi 3 chips uh, that, that it not only has some customers already in place, but it is looking to work with uh, folks like Google, like Qualcomm, like Arm to build open software that isn't proprietary. Yeah, Intel actually created an organization that's part of an open organization inside of the Linux Foundation for many of the companies you just listed to work together on a common standard. So independent software vendors and enterprises didn't have to, don't have to start from scratch, whether they're using ARM, whether they're using uh, uh, Intel, uh, and, and a lot of other manufacturers. And this will reduce the friction it would take to move off of NVIDIA for certain. I mean, I've never seen the groundswell of effort in the industry to come up with some sort of an abstraction layer that allows you, like, like we have with processors, uh, to, to bring in any type of software to run regardless of what the hardware is. Mm. I do want to shift gears to Google, but before I do, NVIDIA was down another 2% today. Uh, it's been pretty weak in the last, call it week, week and a half of trading in general. Is this profit taking or is this the fact that you do have more prospective competitors uh, coming to market, including, by the way, as of today, Google? Yeah, I, I, I think this is profit taking uh, at its best. I mean, the, the valuation is in the stratosphere here, and I've seen nothing that would convince me that there's some sort of a, a sea change that NVIDIA is gonna uh, lose at this point. I need to see a little bit more evidence. I need to see more customers from the AMDs uh, and the Intels out there. Okay, you did just speak with Google Cloud CEO, Tom Kurian. Uh, they did just host this big event focused on AI, focused on their own custom chip unveil today. Your takeaways. Yeah, so a couple things going on. So first of all, this show is all about enterprises. And I, I think Google is bringing a much more compelling story to the table for them. Not only is it getting deeper into their own custom silicon, that's TPU for AI acceleration. They brought up their, brought up their own ARM-based uh, CPU called uh, Axion. But probably the most interesting thing was the hitting what enterprises really want, and that is either a workforce-based customized solution, let's say for an accountant or a finance person or a marketing person, role-based AI that enables them to get, get more done uh, with less time and less resources. And I think that's probably the most interesting thing that uh, the company uh, brought out.